Good morning and welcome to another day of Daily Devotions with Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry, where we are the heart of the lake shore. I'm Pastor Matt Sauer. So we're in day four of this week looking at what the Sabbath means for us in our life. Today we look at the Sabbath means love. And we continue looking through um, the Gospel of Luke in the sixth chapter. So today we pick up on um, verse 27. But I say to you, that is Jesus, to love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also. And from anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners can love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? For even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. Your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. For God is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as God is merciful. So these are probably familiar words to you about love, difficult words about love for sure. But I want us to tie this into the idea of Sabbath, taking that retreat from the busyness of the world, stepping outside of our ordinary routines and spending time with God. We essentially spend time with love. In John's first letter, we hear and we read quite clearly that God is love. So a Sabbath time with God is a Sabbath time with love. So love yourself, your neighbor, even the stranger and the enemy, we are told. In the Sabbath time, when you're taking your time away from all the busy things in your life, be able to take those deep breaths, love in and love out. We remember what it means to love one another. We remember what it means to be loved, how it feels to be loved. A Sabbath is love. Sabbath is a way that we care for ourselves. Sabbath is a way that we empower ourselves to love one another freely. Loving is Sabbath. Sabbath is loving. So that's our goal, to take time away, to remember that we are loved, that we are called to love not only ourselves, and not only the other, but even the enemy. Because love isn't about endorsing what somebody does. Love is about seeing the God within them, just as we hope that they can see the God within us. Let's pray. Holy One, we are grateful for a time of Sabbath, whether it be just a few moments now, or a whole day, or even a week. We are grateful that in this time we can breathe deep your love. We can remember and experience how much we are loved. And we can learn and relearn how to love ourselves, to be comfortable with who we are, to make peace with who we are. And in doing so, free ourselves from all the worldly knots that we get ourselves tied into and simply be able to love all, friend and enemy, 
family and stranger, loving them because we see you in them, loving them because we want them to be the best that they can be, loving them because we want them to know you as even we are striving to know you. So help us today to remember that we are loved and to love one another. Amen. Friends, remember you are loved, you are worthy, and you were created to be a blessing. So go and be a blessing today in any way that you can. And have an awesome day.